All right, so tell us about autumn anxiety. It is a thing. And this year, more than ever, I'm feeling it. And I don't know if, if it's because of um, having a kid, so it's exacerbated. Um, but so autumn anxiety. And I want to say, like, this is something that's not, like, uh, professionally recognized as far as, like, there's not, it's not a recognized condition, but the articles are plentiful about it. And just so you understand, autumn anxiety is an annual increase in anxiety some people begin to feel during the autumn months. <laughs> Duh, it's in the, the name of it. <laughs> um, but experts say some causes of this anxiety may due to beginning a new school year, the looming stress of the holiday season, or possible regret from not having achieved desired goals over the summer. Mm. So changes mm. in diet, daily exercise, increased exposure to daylight are ways people can minimize. But I have felt... and. <sighs> I feel like saying impending doom is, it's, it's, it's too intense. It's because we have an election right around the corner. Well, there's that. I, I'm sure that has amplified it as well. No, but it's like as soon as we got, as soon as the school year started, it was like, I feel like I'm in a mad dash to get to December 31st. Really? Yes. I. It's like when it comes to um, Jimmy, and I only got one kid, y'all. I don't know how you people with multiple kids do it. Like, especially when you start getting up to like the, the threes and the fours when you're out num- numbered. Like, God bless you all. But, you know, Jimmy's school and his after school activities. And then, you know, you have Halloween and then the Halloween parties. And then you have Thanksgiving and trying to make Thanksgiving plans. And then you have Christmas and trying to buy gifts for Christmas. And then there's decorations all mixed in there as well. And, you know, trying to make play dates. And then, you know, you also have work to deal with. And, you know, you know making the appointment to for Santa Claus and it's just and still trying to see your friends and also trying to have a date night with your husband and when I just I feel like I'm drowning in everything Um, and it's just like this overwhelming anxiety and I'm like you know the year is always busy but there is like for, for some reason October 1st through the end of the year feels like a mad dash Mm -hmm. and that you don't even really get to enjoy it. You're just trying to get to the next thing. Like I look at my calendar and I'm just like, oh my God, there's so much crap. uh, Do you guys feel the same way? Or I wonder if this is a mom thing. I've I've never even thought about Uh it. I do. I feel you. I'm so stressed. Yeah. It's just so much is going on and the mental load is incredible. Like having to juggle everything and remember everything, what you're going to have to do next. Mm -hmm. It's too much. It's too much. And I know that, like, I know the solution. I, I know we are the problem, and I know we are the solution. I'm not a problem. <laughs> oh. Just, like, speak for speak yourself. For Opening my legs was the problem. We are the problem. Because, like, I'm right now, I'm looking at my schedule, which is already packed, right? And I'm like, all right, when are we going to go to the pumpkin patch? I'm like, we also want to go to the apple orchard and do that, right? And I'm like, oh, don't forget, you need to go ahead and start planning for the um, for the Christmas cards because you need to get those and you need to get those ordered in, you know, get, figure out the picture you want to use. And so I'm like, I'm caught up in this, like, I want to create these mm. memories for our family, but at the same time, at what cost? Because if I'm there and I'm doing them, but I'm not enjoying myself because I'm stressed... And it was all for naught. That's why I have given up trying to be a good person for a long time. Mm. Takes, too mu- takes too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put a lot into make it. Make all those memories, make people happy. Man, that's so outdated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be the healthy take. But yes, I will be miserable dressed in fall clothes, apple picking in 88 degree weather. But my kids will be happy and I'm making memories for them. And one day on my deathbed, I'll look back and remember they were happy and it'll be worth it. Is that healthy? Hell no, but... That's how I get through it. Uh, good morning, Sam. You are part of the Burt Show. Hello. Hey. I say it, the, the moms of the show are not wrong. It is definitely a mom anxiety this time of year. Is it? There's, mm. of course, plenty of things that she's leaving off the list yeah. that fall in there as well. Not not including birthday parties, class parties, not yeah. just for Halloween, but goodie bags for school or things you have to do at school for PTA mm-hmm. or the outside functions with, with friends or just festivals, carnivals that go on, like a fair comes into town. There's so much stuff that you just push through and it's literally a 90 day dash. He is not wrong. It is something all moms have. Sam, you realize you're not helping here, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just got me all stressed out. Because, because again, making it aware so maybe your partner, your family, that yeah. other people dive in and it's all hands on deck to realize that so many, like me in particular, I have made sure to 
to have a plethora of photos over the years so that if I wasn't in the moment 100%, I can look back at those photos and kind of delve into the memory of what we held during that time. In my case, we've unfortunately had losses over the last decade during these months from two dads, a mom, a grandmother, all in this 90 day stretch over the last decade that impact us even more on top of all the other anxieties of what the season brings. <laughs> so yeah. you got trigger days maxed in, yeah, <laughs> maxed in with the autumn anxiety. Damn, man. I, Shout am out very, to mothers. I am very stressed out right now. <laughs> the Burt Show.